Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey everybody, Chris Perlow here, very casual gamer. I mean, so casual, I've never played desktop tower defense, even though I know a lot of you out there have. And if you like that kind of game, well then you're probably going to like Defense Grid, which was just released today on Steam or direct to drive and The only reason why I know that is because I've got the inside track. See, I've got the uh, CEO of the game company that created uh, Defense Grid, uh, Hidden Path Entertainment. This Hidden is Jeff Path. Popst. You might remember Jeff uh, when we had him over when their company released a game for the Xbox 360. This, of course, is playing on the PC, the HP Touch Smart PC. I've never done any tower defense gaming at all, but apparently it's a genre. There are, what, like 80 types of tower defense games out there? The, um, the uh, tower defense kind of started with uh, modifications to games like StarCraft and WarCraft. And then after several years, all of a sudden, when Flash gaming became popular, a lot of people f uh, made Flash apps that were very fun, addictive, but very simple, and sometimes not as professionally created. And we were looking at all these, we were having a lot of fun, but we said, man, if we could just create the definitive one, then, then we'd have something special, and uh, the opportunity came up, and we uh, we built this over the last year. Jumped on it. Oh, so this is a year in the making. One year in the making. Released today, and I've never played it or any of this type of game before. I mean, I, it's a genre, really. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a type of strategy game, but also it has a lot of puzzle elements to it as oh, well. Oh, okay. So I'd like it. I think so. I like puzzle games. A casual gamer, gotta, I gotta, you know, if I really stink at, at playing this, it's, you'll be fine. It's a disclaimer. Okay. It's all the mouse. Well, it looks good and it sounds good. And we're, so gonna, far. we're gonna pop over. Um, this is a uh, farther into the game. Okay. So we'll go back to the towards the beginning and let you. Dive we're in. using your account, so if I ruin it, I don't, you know. Th that's okay. That's so, okay because you have achievements and leaderboards. That's right. So that you can compare against other so, other players. So you, like, okay. I will never top your score. <laughs> I've played a few too many hours of this game. Oh wow. So what you've got is you've got uh, a map where some yeah. enemies are going to come in from the, uh, if you go down a little bit, you can see the little arrows, they'll come in and exit from there as well. Can you see this? Mm -hmm. And then their goal is to make it around this particular track and over to uh, the far left where they're going to try and steal these things that you have called these power things? cores. Oh, I'm like touching it. It's a touch smart PC, so I'm actually interacting by touching. Oh, that's <laughs> great. Oh, and you can zoom in. Like, I'm sorry, you obviously yeah, no, know that because it's your game. But I'm like, free, like you can zoom in and add that. Mouse wheel does uh, three levels of zoom, and uh, there's about some enemies about to show up. So you probably oh, want to drop plant some, some towers, towers down, right? And so anywhere where the doors are, you can put down uh, on this map one of two kinds of towers: either a okay. flamethrower so called that a door. Yep. Okay. It turns green. You have a choice. Uh, still on the mouse. Uh, left uh, gunner inferno, and you better put oh, it down gun. quick because uh, oh, there comes some. I enemies. gotta plant some more. Yep. Gun. You have resources in the upper left, 180 at the moment, and uh, what happens is you're able to spend that on your towers, and then as you uh, uh, the are able to destroy more aliens, you gain more resources, and well, that, those resources you know, allow you to build more towers. This is pretty darn intuitive. I, I think I was able to tell by the, the, the well, at least color the way change. you structure color change and, and the, the uh, texture that those would be the places to plant the, the towers. So wait, these guys are, oh, well, you can really get in there. So they're, they're coming around and they're going to pick up these power cores because that's why they've come to uh, break into your base. And that's a little different. The power core in mechanic is kind of unique to uh, the defense grid for the tower defense type genre. Um, this idea of them coming in to steal something and then make their way out. But now they oh, have to go they're back. Oh, they're going to make it. Yeah. And, uh, oh, and if they don't, then these little things float back to... That's right. And one of the things that's kind of cool about the power cores, uh, if, if, when that guy dies, he'll drop a power core. But see, we've got some other guys coming in here. Yeah, this and guy And if here. he dropped it close to them, that guy actually got killed. But he'd pick it up and turn around and head out. So okay. he wouldn't even go all the way in. So obviously, uh, oh, we've got one of those situations coming here where the core is floating back slowly, but those guys are approaching it pretty quick. And we're going to have what we call the handoff happen here. Uh oh. Yep, and there it goes. And so now that guy just grabbed one and oh, he's heading no. out. So I've really got to. You got to build I've some got defenses. 79 resources, but i got to wait till I have a, a 100 to build a tower. 99, yes. Oh, there you go. Oh, there we go. Now, what's the difference then between gun and inferno on this level? On like, this level, a gun is a base tower, shoots uh, single aliens pretty well. The inferno is a flamethrower, does area damage. So when you get uh, these guys that are clumped together, it actually uh, does more damage to them than a gun might do. Okay. But well, this is taking a while. Like, is there a way to like, like speed it up? Absolutely. There's a key called uh, on the F on the keyboard is for yeah. fast forward. And so if you oh, hold yeah. it down, you okay. can uh, zip it up and and. Uh, 
you don't want to go too fast because as you see the resources are going up quickly as you're killing things, you want to be able to make your choices of what towers to place and when. So I'm watching, I'm pressing F, but uh, this game will automatically save it at predetermined checkpoints. What's that? So we're just teaching you, um, as you go through the game, we're teaching you a little bit. Um, if you hit escape and quit the game right now, it would remember exactly where you are and come right back here. Okay. Um, also, we have this uh, feature of the backspace key. Um, the speed up only works when you're out of the menu. Okay. Um, but if you were to hit backspace, you'd go back in the game just to the last checkpoint. So oh, so it saves, saves checkpoints. And checkpoints. if you want to undo something that you did, you just go back. Yeah, just hit the backspace key. Can you go more than one? Yep, level you can go back? back as many as you want. Um, if you save and you come back and with a brand new game, it'll only remember checkpoints going forward. Okay, so you can save a game exactly where you're at, or at right. that last checkpoint. That's right. No, no, okay. exactly, exactly. Save it exactly where you're at, but it only remembers checkpoints in memory. Now, in in terms of resources, do they roll over between levels? They don't. Oh, okay. Each level so is designed as its own them. special puzzle. Okay. So here you are. You're you're Mr. Gun Tower. Yeah, I'm totally... The guns are working, so I don't want to mess with the... Anyway, you're doing pretty well on this level. Yeah, we, we, we did some uh, really nice... Actually, this, one of the things is, is kind of these, cool... These are really nice graphics. Good shading. What we wanted to do is fast. give you the production values as if you might have a, have a retail title. Something so this you might like, pay $60 for. But this is actually a $20 download game. Oh, $20 downloaded right now on Steam or Direct to Drive. Yep. Dude. And it has uh, 20 uh, different levels uh, through the single player mode. I'm in mode. trouble. I, I'm going to be playing. Okay, so do escape? Yeah, if, if you hit escape, let's okay. say we pop over to a different level. And I'll show you a different style of modes. You can go to exit main menu. Okay. Um, go ahead and say yes, and then um, hit play. And then let's slide over um, on the right to focal point. This one? Yeah, and you'll immediately see it's a little different style of level. Holy! Um, <laughs> zoom, on, uh, zoom on out and come on back a little bit to the front here. So you'll see at the bottom we have an entrance. We have this yellow line of where the flyers are going to come in. Flyers? Yes. Ooh. We go up to the top um, back where we were and you see where the power cores are. Yeah. And then you go down to the bottom right, or bottom left rather, and that's where the exit is. Bottom left, I apologize. There Where's the exit? Oh, oh, up, it's upper left. Oh, upper left. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I said bottom left, but... Oh boy. Um, so anyway, uh, they're going to come in here in a minute, and you see that um, one of the things that we unlocked is this recon that kind of tells you what aliens who's are coming? coming. Yeah. Okay. So those little so I got of triangles. Oh my god. Gun, Inferno, Laser, a Temporal, others. Meteor, Cannon, Tesla. <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. Why don't you just try putting uh, a gun here? No, how about I place a Tesla? Okay. <laughs> and now, then, you want a gun here? Well, no, no. I don't want to place there. Actually, uh, hit right, hit uh, the right uh, mouse button. And because uh, we don't want to block them off, but if you put one here and one here, here and here, yeah, go ahead and place a gun in both of those places. Are we giving away like some secrets? Not at all. Okay. I just want to show you kind of how this works. Okay. Um, What's the Tesla do? This is why I can't. The Tesla does an electric discharge, and the longer it has between enemies, the more. What we've done is we've actually blocked this path. So now oh. they're not going to go straight towards the cores. They're going to take a left. And, and so gonna we route. have a whole different level of strategy uh. here where we're able to redirect them, actually build a maze, and use these roads to kind of figure out where you want them to go. And, of course, you're going to have a certain amount of resources and a certain amount of uh, towers to build. And I'm so your goal is to try and get these enemies to go past your towers multiple times so, so that, that your towers will be able their... to weaken them right. by the time they get out. Yeah. Oh, I'm out of resources. You're out of resources. So I'm gonna okay. hit. You're gonna see the lasers work, and this is the lasers. Whoa, lasers work awesome. Yeah, lasers do heat damage, and they're very continual as well. Can I zoom? Sure. Yeah. Those are the lasers. And uh, lasers. one thing also, um, let's see. If we go back to, uh, uh, actually, don't spend anything yet. Oh, oh I did. Go, that's okay. Come ahead and uh, let's do fast forward a little bit. Okay. And once you have a couple hundred resources, let's slow down. Okay, right now, right. you can click on a gun tower now that you have 200 resources, and you can actually upgrade, upgrade. the towers. Um, we didn't have upgrading in those first levels. And so when you upgrade a tower, it closes back down. It takes about 15 seconds to oh, do. Oh, no. So you might lose its capability during that time, but then it comes up much more powerful than it was before. Oh, okay. And we actually have three levels of upgrade for every tower in the game. Very nice. Zoom on the aliens. The aliens? I watch them get killed. Let's watch them get fried by lasers here. Of course, this is probably going to look a heck of a lot better on your own computer screen. And for $20, how many levels do you get? 20 levels that um, have through the story mode, and then there's also 60 different challenge modes. 60. Six okay. zero, yeah. Six zero. So you actually, um, like, one challenge mode might be playing this map, but with only level one towers. 
or um, having a fixed amount of resources. Um, you'll notice that you're gaining resources every time an alien dies, and you're also gaining interest on the resources that you have. So there's an incentive to hold on to resources if you are able to take out the aliens. But you see this group is walking away with your power cores. Yeah, That's okay, I'm, I'm, I'm Tesla-ing them. Yes, but some of them are going to escape, it looks like. I'm going to, wait, I want to try a cannon here. That's pretty good. Try a meteor, too. Yeah, that's, that's, what I, that's my next one. Oh, well, you got to earn up a little bit, uh, just a little bit more money. Now you have is that 30? No, you have enough now. Oh, I do? Okay. Yeah, for a meteor. Oh, dang it, I placed another cannon. Well, you can hit backspace and go back if you don't that's need scary. to do that. And so, uh... Oh, it's so cool. Oh, th yeah, it goes back to the last checkpoint. Okay, That's so right. then these guys are going to get fried. So go ahead Do and put over. a meteor now. <laughs> <laughs> meteor? Yep, and then, uh, and you'll see as... This is, this is very, I, I would consider this, I mean, it's, yeah, it's, it's, this is like a casual game. I could get into It's this. both casual and core. It's oh, they're getting out, they're getting out. But so you'll notice up in the top, when, if you look at your cores, you have a, a large group of cores that are all green, because they're sitting happily in the housing, right. and a group that are red, those are the ones that got stolen. Oh, no. As long as you finish this level with just one core left, green or amber, you get to progress to the next level. Whereas if you're a hardcore player and you really want to do well, you want to um, each level we've tried to tune so that most people can play through. And so anyone should be able to kind of sit down, and maybe once or twice playing through, you should be able to kind of play through the level and enjoy yourself and see the whole story. But, you know, someone who really wants to take on a challenge, we have bronze, silver, and gold medals for each level. And those different medals uh, represent, you know, did I finish with all the cores? Did I finish with cores and a certain number of resources? So there's def several different challenges along the way, depending upon how much of those challenges you want. And ha how long were you working on this? We've been working on it for the last year. With a team of anywhere from... Uh, Eight to fifteen people. Well, this guy is just impervious. You can right-click on him. Oh, I finally got it. Finally got Dang. Him. But if you have another alien coming through, you can actually right-click on an alien and see how their health is doing. Oh, nice. Let's do that. Zoom in on one. Well, I'll have to get one up here. Oh, here comes flyers. Do you see the flyers? Yeah. Oh. Are those cool. ours or theirs? They're always theirs. Oh. And they're going to be flying over in the, the oh, yeah, machine gun guys. Oh, yeah, You probably want to drop a couple more machine guns down up, up by the cores real fast. Um, right over here might be a good place. Uh, uh, oh, oh. Insufficient no. resources. Yeah, so they're going to come and they're going to grab cores. Dang. And fly off oh, man, and they're Jeez. gone. And the thing that's bad about the flyers is you, they're can't, gone. you can't get the cores back from them. Yeah. Oh, man, I'm hosed. So you got three over. left, um, <laughs> as you see there in the green. Um, or at least four or five, but then here comes some other enemies. So this is one of the more uh, difficult levels. This is the eighth level in the game out of 20. And so this is an example of an open map compared to the more linear road map that we started off with in, uh, in the early levels. I'm in trouble. There's like a whole horde of... Uh-oh. I need resources. I need resources. Ah, uh, he's, he's escaping. No tricks to get extra resources. <laughs> no. I don't remember it right uh -oh, now. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> There's the meteor. In Tesla. But you see also that you're able to route them. Yeah. And then, uh, if, let's see, if we, pack, if we pop back over here, let's take a quick... Down? Yeah, um, I'm just wondering where they could go. So they're pretty much blocked off wow, that's everywhere. Wow, that's a new enemy there. Yeah, What's he's that? an interesting guy. He's called a Seeker, and what he does is he has a portal that he starts uh, uh, firing here pretty soon, and uh, he'll start um, bringing in, I think there's his portal, other, other oh, aliens will start coming. Like midway. Smoke. Yes. So he's one of those guys you want to try and kill early. Uh, yeah, before I'd he, say. Uh, drops all sorts of uh, different enemies. But, for example, if you place the tower here, then you'd force them to come around Coming the towers. In, yeah, and giving them more, more time. time. Exactly. Now, I could, could I block them off here, and where would they go? So, if you completely block them off, they would just go right through the shortest path they've got. Okay. So, they probably would cut through back at the beginning. They want to avoid going through those force fields, but if you completely block them off, then they'll go through the shortest route through the force fields. So as long as you give them a path, no matter how long it is, no matter how winding. For example, you could take away, you could sell that tower yeah. that's uh, right there, and you could block on the other side and then force them back towards the middle. So if you if you sold this one right here... But I don't want it. Oh, you don't want it? Okay. <laughs> I, I was just trying to... <laughs> you get some of them. You need more firepower. That's what I need. I need to, like, fry them earlier. Well, you can uh, upgrade your towers. That's true. Oh, this guy's getting away. Oh, that's the 
Oh, he's got the little bugger. No, I can't upgrade until I have... Oop, crap, I sold it. Oh, this is not going to be good. But that gives you more resources that you can spend somewhere else. Oh, wait. Yeah, that's right. I can upgrade this tower. Oh, wait. No, I upgraded 300. 300. Yep. There we go. Okay, now upgrade. So it's going to disappear. Meanwhile, I've got to protect two of those... What yeah, are they, again? Power cores. Power cores. This is, this is a first line and last line. This guy's got to get him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, the meteor killed that one guy. So I got to protect it. Wave 10 of 20? Oh, I don't think we have enough time in the video. <laughs> Jeff, thanks. Thank you so much. I hope Appreciate you enjoy it. the game. Yeah, Defense Grid, 20 bucks on Steam or Direct to Drive. Yes. And me, as a casual gamer, am likely going to get sucked into this. And I will see you on the leaderboard. See you on the leaderboard. My email address is chris at perillo.com. Of course, you know you can drop me a line. And any tips or tricks you might have, of course, he's going to be able to tell me everything I want to know. <laughs> he was kind of giving me hints, but you know me. Stubborn. Even as a gamer. Casual gamer. You're more than welcome to join us in our community of geeks. Tons of gamers over there, geeks.perillo.com. And then, of course, you're also welcome to stop by the live video stream with the chat room. We're typically talking tech. Wicket, you want to play? Is it okay? Can yeah, play? I think I think it's, it's, it's 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.